Yes. Just follow your lane and just go ahead like this. Oh, okay. Step off the accelerator, keep checking top and right, look in front as well, look in front. Let's come round this way and go round to the right from here. Steady with your feet, nice bit of clutch control, oh. clutch brake. Even if we end up going the wrong way, why is it snowing? <laughs> what is this? Welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Salmon and today I am doing a driving lesson with Kieran. Hey guys. You guys might remember him from this video up here. <laughs> oh, flip <please. laughs> So today we have a driving lesson um, and what's the main reason why you wanted to do a lesson today? Well, like I said to you, I haven't driven for a while and if you guys saw the previous mock test, I've done good things here and there, but I still feel like there are a lot of things I want to work on before I get on the road on my own. So you plan on actually said. getting a car soon and yes. yeah, it's just to get kind of build up that confidence and practice up to actually getting a car now really. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be addressing everything um, from that previous video, um, but it's lessons so we're going to be talking back and forth. Um, yeah, should we go straight into it? So a lot of the concerns I remember you were saying was clutch control. So we're going to be having a chat about that. We already talked about that last lesson anyways. Um, yes. Then there was roundabouts. And then there was also um, crossroads. Yeah. Like the lorry turn. Okay, brilliant. We're going to get straight into it. It is cold, so let's get the heating on. So when you're ready, to start the engine, Kieran. It's going to be brake and clutch, okay? Brake and clutch. Yeah. So oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. No, it's just <laughs> And where's the clutch? Here. There it is. Oh, yeah. And now start. Brilliant. I'm just going to put this on. Just get this ready. All right, now we got really close to the car behind us. So, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your feet ready. Yeah, and the handbrake is on. So we're gonna keep. No, no, no. We're gonna keep it on. Okay. Because if you turn it off, where are you gonna go? Oh, backwards. Brilliant. You gotta get your feet ready first. So just kind of look towards the road and look for a gap. Is it clear? No, there's a car coming. The car coming. Okay. So just get your clutch up a little bit higher. Hold it there. Now look over your shoulder and handbrake off. But keep your feet steady, okay? And there we are, look, we're on the biting point. I just turn around and check one more time and use your accelerator gently and lift the clutch gently. That's it, just a little bit and come back in. So we don't really need to turn there because there's nothing in front of us. Right. So I would keep the wheel straight when moving off from that position. Brilliant, nicely done. And on the accelerator. And with your left foot, where are you gonna place it now that you're not changing gears? Uh, off, the, uh, off the clutch. On the left hand side of the clutch. Is it there? Rest, no, no, rest oh. it on the side. Let's just watch the two girls, make sure they're not going to cross. So when you're not using the clutch, you, your foot's over here on the side, like that. Um, Good, but be okay. careful with the speed limit over here. What is yeah, the speed so I was about to say, yeah, it's 20, because I didn't see the speed limit on your car. What do we have in front? A van. You need to check mirrors in the right. Yeah, and just keep a nice straight position. Don't wander around too much. Keep a nice steady hand. I would suggest you go into second gear right now because we've got a roundabout right there. So brake as you're doing this. Clutch up ever so slowly. But make sure when you're putting the clutch down, you're using the ball of your foot. We're going to talk about that later. Turn right from here. And position on the right, please, Kieran. And signal. Brake only. Have a look. We can actually keep going. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, let's come round this way. And go round to the right from here. Now we're going to move back to the left, so a little left. Good, and there we go. Brilliant, now just watch the traffic in front and when you get a chance, could you turn that off? Brilliant, get your feet ready. And we're gonna stop here, yeah? Yeah. Now Kieran, if you just pop it into neutral yes. and just take your foot off the clutch. Put your foot on the brake. Your foot on the clutch is like this, take it lower. Right. Press it now. Bring your foot lower. Okay, first gear, and off you go. We'll talk about that in a second, okay? Yes. Basically, your foot's too high on the clutch. I can see it now, yeah. You can it see is, it, yeah? Yeah, okay. it, is, it is high, I can see it. So you want to be using kind of the ball of your foot rather than the middle of your foot. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So now when you press it, make sure you're using the ball of your foot this time. So use the brake first. Good, and now use the ball of your foot and focus ahead on this one. I wouldn't worry too much about the gears, we can deal with this a bit later. 
No, because I'm like, when I go down, I feel like the car will jolt or like it will start, I don't know, stalling when it you will. Go, you'll feel yeah. it, you'll feel it. And plus, if the clutch is down, it won't be an issue because the gear is disconnected. Ah, okay. Yeah? Um, okay, now what can you see in front? A, a dual carriageway? Look, look in front, what does that sign tell you? What's that white sign right there? Uh, lanes. Roundabout. Roundabout, where? Oh. Brake. Only the brake. Only the brake. No clutch. Have a look. We're not signalling. We're just going straight, Kieran. Have a look. Can we enter? Yes. Just follow your lane and just go ahead like this. Oh, okay. You doing oh, okay? I got, no, I got scared because um, I, didn't, I didn't see no run. No talking from you for a second. We're going to turn left. Check left. Signal left. Focus on the driving. Now brake. Can you see there's a bus over there? We're going to put the clutch down and I want you to go second gear. Have a look. We can keep going and enter straight away. When we stop over, we're going to sort out this foot position because your foot keeps going too high. And now that you're not using the clutch, put your foot on the left hand side of the clutch. Yeah, once you're done with the gear change, you can still talk. Once you're done with the gear change, come on, move your foot on the left and relax. Doing okay? Yeah. What sign do we have here? 40. Perfect, thank you. Anyone behind us? No. Good. Is that top mirror a bit high? Just put the brake yeah. on. Yeah, Just put no clutch. Put the brake on, please. Now put the clutch down and keep braking. Focus on the brake. And now do the gear. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, Is the top mirror okay now? Yes, yeah, fair. Thank you. Was, you were doing this earlier. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I need you to breathe. Nothing's going on right now, look. I don't know why I get so stressed over nothing, like, come on. Not you, me. No, no, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good. Go for it. That's it. Nice and steady, nice and relaxed. Your position is a bit too close to the left, Kieran. Look, we're already in fourth gear and you're at like 23 miles per hour. Can you feel that? The car is struggling. Clutch up. Don't change gears. Just get that speed up. Let's catch up to that black cab. That's better. Go a little bit faster than 30 and then switch to 4. You remember last lesson I said to you, you change gears a bit too quickly? That's what that was. Yeah? Sometimes we've got to use a lower gear for a bit longer. I think we should gear down now. What do you think? Yeah. Go down. Brilliant. Nicely done. And continue. That's it. That was a bit cheeky of that silver car, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. We're okay. We dealt with it. Now, we're going to be turning right soon, Kieran. So, how do we switch lanes? Mirrors. Yeah. Wait for a good... Just put on a signal first, otherwise he doesn't know. Step off the accelerator. Keep checking top and right. Look in front as well. Look in front. Step off the accelerator. Keep checking top and right. Look in front as well. Look in front. You're looking in your mirror so much. I'm going to help you with the lane change here, okay? Just go across. We're turning right. We're going to stop over and discuss that. Just position more like the driver in front and think about your feet. Just control your position and where you are. Don't worry about this. This can come later. Because you can do it now, can't you? Yeah, sorry. Bad, bad habit. Okay, firstly, I need you to stop apologising. And focus on the road ahead. At all times, just focus on the drive. Okay. Look, it's started snowing now. Oh, yeah, you mentioned it. It's not snowing. Is it that road over there, I'm telling Yeah, you? just where that pub is. Alright. Where everyone, like everyone in front of you is going to go the same way as you. Can you see there's an ambulance coming out of that road? Yeah, I see it. Can you see the blue car went on the pavement for the ambulance? Yeah. So even when the lights go green, we're not going to move because the ambulance is on the wrong side. Remember, you want to put the clutch back down when you're doing that and accelerate to do this. And do the gear change before the turn. That's it. Now focus on the turn. Get your left foot off the clutch, please. Now just speed up a bit more before you try and change gears. Good. You doing all right? Yeah. Felt nice? Even if we end up going the wrong way, why is it snowing? <laughs> what is this? It's interrupting my, my moment. <laughs> will, will, will we be fine with this? We will be fine. If this starts settling, then I'll take over and then we'll both just walk home and leave the car here because I'm not driving in snow. Damn, okay. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs>
<laughs> no, that's respect. That All right, is, yeah. let's talk about some of those things that were happening on that last road. Oh, I remember why I didn't wear this. Food no, that's me cooking. It's not nice. You know, this is cleaning in the house. That's why. Okay, anyways. Yeah, will be fine. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so we're driving on that dual carriageway, weren't we? Yes. And I said, we're going to switch lanes. And you said, oh, I'm going to check my mirror. And you were checking your mirrors. And you started saying, oh, I'm going to just let this guy go. You know you want to switch lanes. Yes. Check your mirrors, put on an indicator. Yes. If you don't indicate, how will they know you even intend on switching over? Okay. Good point. Driving down that road, I did have to grab the steering wheel, didn't I? There was a bit of a curve. Yeah. And I had to do this. Do you know why? Or was I too close to the pavement? You got too close to the pavement because the road was not straight. It was curving. And it's 40 miles per hour. Mm. And your attention was on the right on switching lanes. Mm. First things first, you're switching lanes, mirror signal, check top and right, but don't lose focus of the road ahead. So what I would do is I would create like a little triangle. Road ahead, top mirror, right mirror, road ahead. So you're looking like this. Okay. Like kind of there, there, and there. There, there, and there. What you were doing was just focusing on these two, and this got neglected, which is why I had to grab the steering. Right. Okay? Um, okay. And the other thing, I'm just trying to break it down into easy bits to kind of digest for now. The other thing I want you to do is not to try and do too much at once. So let's imagine we're approaching a traffic light to just stop. You can see it is red. It's not changing. There's a queue of traffic. With your feet, it's just brake. Slow down, slow down, slow down, clutch, keep slowing down, keep slowing down, and then ease off the pressure, and then stop and go back into one. I got scared because this is a manual car, obviously, and then uh, I thought if I brake too much, the car will like do like an emergency stop okay. kind of thing. With any car, there's a minimum speed that you can slow down to in any gear. Okay, so for example, if you're in fourth gear, you can slow down below 20, and then after that, you'll feel it going. That's what I'm that's, of, it's yeah. like when you hear that you know you've gone too slow yeah that's when you need the clutch okay but we've been driving predominantly in third which means that speed can go down all the way to 15. okay so i want you to focus on controlling your speed and then getting the clutch down okay if you put the clutch down too soon you actually lose control of the car yeah. which is why we don't want to be doing it no okay um and lastly with your foot position did you realize you were doing that I love that. Yeah, when you were mentioning a lot, I, I'm, I, you keep saying um, the tip when you see. No, no. So watch. You don't want like the top of like your toes. It's this bit, that. So you know, like, imagine this is your foot. This is the ball of your foot. Yeah. Yeah. This is your toes. Yeah. This is the section that you want to be holding the clutch with. Yeah. When you were driving earlier, this was the section that you were holding the clutch with. You had your foot like that. Yeah, I was not. I like. I was yeah? noticing. Yeah. It's much harder. Bring your foot down. Yeah. Yeah, slightly higher than that. About that. So ball of your foot. Okay. This section here. Okay, I need to practice on that a little bit. Yeah. Anything happening ahead at the minute? Yeah, there's a black car. Okay, we're going to turn right. We've got a junction in front. Junction. So now with your feet, I'm leaving you in charge of it. Show me how you would control this. You know you're going to be stopping most likely, right? Yes. How do we stop? Oh, I think I could have. Okay, no, we couldn't see, so you couldn't have uh, made that risk, unnecessary risk. Yeah, you couldn't really make that assessment earlier, could you? What do you see in front, Karen? Another roundabout. Another roundabout. All right, we're going to turn right. It's the third exit. So we're going to make sure we're planning our exit, OK? OK. Do you want me to talk you through the roundabout when we're on it? Or do you want to try it on your own? May I try it on my own? Yes, please, yeah. OK, so I'm going to be on the right, as far right as I can. I don't, I can go, I can. OK, that's one exit over there. Is that an exit That's there? an exit, yes. Okay, that's an exit. So I'll just do mirror signal left, move over, and then Good. There, we, there we go. Fine. Yeah? Yeah. If you can get there from the roundabout, it's an exit. Good. When you get a chance, just turn that off. Brilliant. Break. Okay, now at the roundabout, turn left.
good. Just look slightly earlier though. So I felt like you kind of look just as we were about to enter. Yes. Don't go too fast around here. I know you probably want to get into third right now, but if you look at this road. Yeah, it's very you narrow. You really want to be in third. that dog's on the road. I was about to break there just because it felt like we were going into that a bit quick. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Were you not sure of where the road is going? Yeah, I saw that T-junction. I actually thought both roads were like, you know. You thought it was more of a, like a, like a crossroads. Yeah. When that happens, just trying to brake clutch, pop it into one, then take it a little bit slower, obviously. All right, so we're going to now turn right, please. Yes. So when you're moving out of this junction, I want you to make sure with your feet, when it's clear, have a look first, with your feet, once you start lifting the clutch, if it feels like it's too far, squeeze the clutch down. Squeeze it down rather than using the brake. Better? Yes. That was so much better, wasn't it? Because that was a concern of yours from last lesson. Getting much better. And that's exactly what we want to do with our manoeuvres or any time we're reversing. Just use that clutch control yeah. rather than coming to the brake and going, oh no, no, slow down. Like up there, we're going to make a left turn. Like you know you're definitely going to be stopping because you can't see the sides, right? Yes. So let's have a smoother approach to this stop. So the clutch down from about here. Good, here we go. Steady with your feet, nice bit of clutch control. Oh. Clutch brake. Sorry. Clutch was just, no, 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 don't wait like that, otherwise you're gonna stall. Clutch brake. Just go into that corner, but stop again. Just clutch down as you're waiting. If you know you can't go, I want you waiting like this, okay? Okay. Just keep holding the brake and clutch down for now. Keep looking both ways. When do you think the next gap is then? After the wait. After... After all of them. <laughs> I could have went with that, word, with that bus. But here you go, after these two? After these three? Yes? Yes. There's a red light, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now don't rush. Take your time with your feet. Nice and steady. You've got this. Better? Yes. So the first, just be careful of this guy, he's parking in a bit of a bad spot there. Okay. Slow down for that, yeah. Is it clear? Yes. We don't need to do any steering though. Oh yeah, I'm just going straight. Remember we said this last time, with mini roundabouts you kind of go like that when there's nothing to actually steer around. Oh! Task. You see this blue car in front of you? Yes. Imagine we had a parked car on the opposite side of the road. So when you move off, you can't hit the invisible car on the other side, which okay. means clutch control. Yes. To get yourself out of this spot. Go on. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go around once again. Signal. You're not using the brake. Remember that. Yes. How do we control the speed? Oh, nice. Definitely didn't hit the invisible car. I'm happy with that. Turn left at the end. Oh, I can go. Yeah, I can go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, everything's working in our favour now. Green lights. Yay. I, should, I don't need a. I don't need a signal, it's a compulsory left turn. But what if there was somebody waiting to cross the road right here? I see your point, okay. There's no harm in that signal, right? Yeah. So you put it on, that's it. 50 miles per hour, okay. You said you wanted to go on dual carriageways last time, so here you are. <laughs> By the end of the lesson, Kieran was actually like, are we going on dual carriageways? Can we go on the motorway? I said, no. <laughs> Not today. Allow me, please. <laughs> it's 
get up to the speed of the road. Let's do that then. There we go. All right, Kieran, we've got a roundabout coming up. I'd like you to turn right. It is the second exit. Right, second exit. Okay. Yeah. You can use the middle lane to turn right as well, by the way. Roundabout really nicely done, but you need to have a right signal, don't you? I thought. Okay. Yeah, Did you realise I put it on? Yeah. No. I got. I was gonna put a right signal for, but like I'm turning right. I should have a right signal. Yeah. Why am I not? No, that wasn't me. You're right. Anytime you are turning right, just pop it on. Yes. That second video might be best here. Nice. Oh, nicely done. Alright, so as you're driving, I want you to also think about my little cup of tea. The whole point of this cup of tea is to get you braking smooth, steering smooth, smooth acceleration. Yeah? Yes. Because at the minute, your steering could be better, just so, so that you're not wandering around too much. And also the brake could be better. Okay. Alright, now Kieran, we're going to take the next road on your left. It is coming up soon. Oh, this bus. Second. Yeah, he, he he knew he messed up there. <laughs> he just moved off without changing his signal, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I thought he was staying on the left. I even saw that. All right. So we're yeah. turning left anyway. So it's okay. Oh, so. Good. Second. Finish. Yeah. And just drag your foot off the clutch. That's it. It's a bit heavy there, isn't it? Yeah, that could, oh, should not point. That car scared me. But they were on your left and they weren't even over the giveaway line. You can't even say that they were. That was not my, my fault. I apologise for that. That's all right. All right, everything we've done today is leading up to this round now. Oh my. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm hyping it up for no reason. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be taking the third exit, right? Third exit, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, give it a go on your own. Nice and confident, count the exits, take the third. end of your driving lesson overall today was definitely better than last time okay how did you feel about the clutch control side of things um, much better um, obviously I still need to work on it but I'm getting I'm getting used to you know not just using not using the brake uh, brake and accelerate so just like when I'm moving off just use the, the the clutch and then when the, when it's the right moment use either, either no it's not or... even that it's more you know when we were at that junction where there's a parked car in front earlier yeah what you were doing was you would 
bring hold the uh, braking clutch and then trying to move off you're lifting the clutch and then coming off the brake and then going back to the brake what you want to be doing is accelerate clutch up and then if it's too fast squeeze the clutch down and just off the accelerator okay. and if you want to move again clutch up again that small movement yeah you were just kind of going on the brake to control it rather than pushing the clutch back down that was really the main concern hmm. um, i know you wanted to go over some parking today we'll do that next time i think the weather's just not going to allow for it it's officially snowing raining right now guys um big roundabouts how are you feeling about them getting more confident i wonder if there are much major ones i want to do like really some, there are some big rounds around ra yeah i'm gonna do like fourth exit right oh no flowing through them a lot more yeah i think generally today i think like the roundabouts i feel like generally the big roundabouts today were much nicer than before you were confident on them your approach was so nice i, I had no concerns on the approach in the second half thank you so it's nice um, in terms of you braking and clutch, that was all really good. Hazard perception, all oh, that was nice. Oh, about the whole braking thing, making sure you're not spilling the tea. Did that make sense? Yeah. That's just something you have to just try and practice a bit more. Because if you're the passenger, you'd feel it more. Whereas when you're the driver and you know you're doing it, you kind of, you you don't jolt forward. Whereas everyone else is like, what happened to you guys? <laughs> That's kind of what it was like. Like, yeah. why is she jolting forward? It's not even that bad. She's been dramatic. <laughs> But yeah, um, definitely we'll do another driving lesson because I know you wanted to do motorways, but that's going to come a little bit later. Just so you, you want to work uh, on I this want... little stuff first and then. Yeah, yeah? I really want to practice on that. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank Don't you. Worry. All right, guys, that is the end of today's driving lesson. Hopefully you have found that video to be useful. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. That's it from us today. Ciao. Bye.